out. There seems to be some sort of system malfunction here. <laughs> My name is Anton. <laughs> I'm a victim of society <laughs> and an entertainer. <laughs> I will keep you company until the problem has resolved. <laughs> Let me wipe that on that point. <laughs> some of you may already recognize me from some of my many television appearances. I was on the 6 o'clock news last night. <laughs> yeah, I was the dude in the chokehold. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> hey, I know that you guys like you want to hear some impressions. All right, here's one. This is Elvis Presley if he was alive today. Hey, give me out of here. I ain't dead yet. Somebody dig me up. <laughs> the king, ladies and gentlemen. The king. <laughs> Now, I would love to perform for free for y'all, but the union stipulates that I collect compensation for my creative endeavors. So I appreciate it if when I pass my sneaker around, you would be so kind as to give to the cause. Cause rent is due. <laughs> Ain't gonna pass it down. <laughs> oh, I know that y'all want to see some more of my talent. <laughs> All right, how about a song? <laughs> Give it up for the band, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Maceo and the gang. You got what I need. Just a friend, just a friend, not a cousin. Say she just a friend. Oh, baby, you got what I need. Look, 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 I'm gonna give you anything, man. Just be quiet. Oh, dang, bro. Hey, bro, so pound. So pound. Oh, beautiful. Y'all too kind. Ow, oh, that hit me in my head. I'm getting off at the next stop. Me too. I'm sorry, passengers, but we will be delayed for several more minutes. Please excuse us for the inconvenience. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce that show number two has just begun. <laughs> I'd like to recite a sequiloquy, if I can. <laughs> to be or not to be, that always confused me. <laughs> Today, we're going to add on a new room. 
but I have to make sure that I got the proper tools. <laughs> this is the drill. <laughs> My hammer. <laughs> My measuring tape. <laughs> oh, that's the extension cord. <laughs> Let's just use the rope for now. <laughs> and last but not least, I need my screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get started, shall we? <laughs> now, in order to add on this new room, we're going to have to make a new doorway. So what do we do? We mark it. <laughs> And then we cut the hole. <laughs> Smooth out the rough edges. Pick up our pants. And now let's add on a new room. <laughs> We're gonna have to use an all-natural adhesive. <laughs> Your children don't try this at home. We just put that there. And when this dry, it'll be crazy like crazy here. <laughs> We're not yet. We need to install the plumb. I'll go get the bathroom. <laughs> come over, they don't have to steal your bathroom. <laughs> well, that's the show for today. Join me next week when I'll be showing you how to make a jacuzzi out of a garbage can. <laughs> this is Anton for this old box saying, I still have something of a... <laughs>
chokehold won't be necessary. <laughs> Mr. Jackson! What? I mean, go back to your proper place in the courtroom. If you need an interpreter, I'll get one for you. Okay. Now, let's start with the plaintiff, Mr. Mac-Cock... Mac... mac Mr. Cock... Mac... mac State your case. Well, Your Honor, okay? Last Wednesday, I noticed we were running low on beer. I go back to my freezer, one of the finest freezers in Southern California, may I... Objection, Your Honor! That's pure conjecture. Sustained. <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you. Well, let's continue, Mr. Mac Sack. Macbar! Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I go into the freezer to get some beer. I see this man sitting on the ice machine, changing his underwear. Several other customers saw this too. They start running out of the store, and I lose much money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to explain myself. See, I was merely trying to find some privacy. You understand? Know? I was changing for my second show. See, that's what I do. I'm a street performer. You know? As a matter of fact, I was once held over in Carnegie Hall. For how long? Until the police arrived? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Your Honor. Until the police arrived? <laughs> Jackson. I'm gonna put that in my hat. That's pretty good. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? I guess so. You see, I wouldn't... Whoa! Oh, excuse me, Your Honor. I just had to look up the Chinese. Mr. Jackson, one more outburst like that, and I'll clear this courtroom. One more outburst like that, and I'm sure the courtroom will clear. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. I got some way up on him. You want that level? Yeah, that worked. That's good. Where was I? Oh, yeah, it's my case. Okay, now I need to, first of all, get my evidence together. Put everything out. He seems to have come prepared. Allow me to introduce Exhibit A. Hey, what the hell is that? These are my underwear. <laughs> and these are the same drawers I had on at the night in question. <laughs> the night when Mr. <laughs> oh, man. That's right. Mr. Lungies kicked me in my ass. <laughs> Injustice for all. <laughs> you know, I went up for that part, but they blackballed me. You want to see? Look, here's $20, okay? Here's 20 bucks. Get out of my courtroom. Don't ever come back. Well, thank you, Your Honor. This court is adjourned. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Here comes the defendant now. Uh, Mr. Jackson? Mr. Jackson, uh, how do you feel about the ruling on the... Oh, God, what is that smell? Oh, no, uh, this interview is over. Uh, join me next week on Pope People's Court. Can I sing a song? Oh. You... and it's down the street and around the block. No, I'll come to be all I can be. Cause I've been what I've been and it ain't paying too well. Let me ask you something, boy. Huh. What do you think you have to offer the Army? Well, I'm glad you asked, sir. 
See, cuz I'm an entertainer, you know? If you gave me $5, I could go over to Salty Armenia and entertain the troops, see? Cuz I'm a regular boogie woogie music boy, come through with me. I'm boogie woogie music boy. Here, camouflage that for me. Business of signing up real life soldiers, maggot. Maggot? Hey, I ain't no maggot. Hey, I ain't never been with another man before. Who told you that, Clarence? He's lying. He's lying. I'm telling you. All right, once I was desperate. I needed the money. I was drunk and down out. Don't hold but it. I don't have time for this. I'm in the middle of a rapid deployment. Well, I'm in the middle of unemployment. So he's <laughs> You know, as much as I would love to send you over to Iraq, mm -hmm. I don't think you'd last 10 minutes. Okay, just for instance, what would you do if you had to engage the enemy in hand-to-hand -hand combat? That's no problem. See, because I'm skilled in the martial arts. I know Tai Chi. I know Taekwondo. And I know Tyrone. He taught me all that stuff. You know? You know, like how to take a rope. Just a simple rope. Anything becomes a weapon. You take that out and you, you steam all your heart. Oh, that's the secret weapon, yeah. Dude. Oh, my God. What is that smell? Well, that was a sample of my nerve gas. All right, all right, that does it. Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. Uncle Sambo. Hey, 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 hey. I want to serve my country. Look, I'll give you five dollars if you just get out of here and forget you ever heard about the army. Well, Come on, take it. The guy down at the uh, Navy office gave me five. All uh, right, here's ten. Well, the guy at the Coast Guard. All right, here's twenty-five. Just go. Twenty-five. Get you forty-five. Forty-five. Fifty-five. 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 Fifty
Oh, all right, I might as well. I just cut the cheese. <laughs> I bet you like dog meat. <laughs> How about the leg with you? Oh, uh, look, the wishbone. You feel lucky? I uh, didn't take a pull. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jackson, if you'll just be seated, then I'll serve the turkey. Oh, you serve the turkey. All right, now, I just served the potatoes, the sweepers. Hey, this gravy is cold. <laughs> Where you going? Where you going, man? To the restroom. I don't... <laughs> Love our new house, honey. Oh, it's so much bigger than that cramped apartment in the city. Come on, son. Let's get this last box. What the heck is in this thing? He's a bum. I ain't no bum. I'm an independent contractor who solicits donations and investments in a fresh air environment. That's what I said. He's a bum. The movers must have picked up his box by mistake. Hey, mister, this ain't no box. This is my house. And I live here. <laughs> you have transported it against its will. You'll be hearing from my legal firm of Ernest and Julio Gallo. I smell a lawsuit. I smell something worse than that. Oh, that's my new line of toilet water. You know, like Cher has uninhibited, well, mine is called unflush. Well, whatever it is, you're gonna have to leave. Honey, it is our fault that he's here, after all. That's right. He is a human being. That's right. So? True. So let's... Show him a little charity, huh? Yeah, show him a little charity. OK, he can stay tonight, but he goes back to the city in the morning. Good man, good man. Hey, I think your wife got a crush on me. <laughs> y'all just go ahead and do what y'all normally do. Pretend I'm not even here. Just go and do what y'all would normally do. Well, actually, we were just about to have dinner. Would you like to break bread with us? I don't mind if I do. I just broke wind. <laughs> Hey, look, I want y'all to know I ain't no freeloader. 
I ain't just gonna eat up your food. I want to contribute something to this meal. Now, I've been using this piece of bologna to plug up the hole in my shoe. But since this is a special occasion, you go ahead and fry that up. How thoughtful. Oh, I, I got some donuts, too. Uh, we're not we're hungry. hungry. <laughs> Let's unpack some more. I got some homework. Dad, can you help me with my math? I'm very busy, son. Maybe a little later, OK? Hey, I, 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 let me handle that. I did all right in the math class. Hey, look, look here, Junior. Say you got three boogers over here. <laughs> No, a bad cold. Ah! Okay. What do you know? It's time to go to bed. Here we go, Billy. Good night. Good night, Billy. Don't let the boogeyman get you. If you need anything, the bathroom is right down the hall. Oh, no, that's OK. I, I'm using my own facilities. Oh, that's it. He's going back to the city. That's it. We're going back. No. Just take twenty dollars. Take a cab or something. Twenty dollars? What about my house? You destroyed my property. Here's another twenty. Buy a new house. What about my uh, emotional distress <laughs> and loss of income? That's a hundred dollars. Would you please just leave? Hey, listen. Do me a favor. Give me. Give me. Give that to the kid for me. <laughs>